there is a first for everything, and I have found myself somehow in the middle of my very own personal submarine. And I am with Johnny from Nutco. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, you got to break it down. What what am I sitting in right now? <laughs> This is a single person submersible, so it's what was basically built around the concept of the chair and to be able to put scientists really quickly underwater. It's battery driven, so on the outside there's these pods, as you can see on either side there's really big pods down there, and those pods actually have batteries. And so there's, it's like a fuel cell, or a, like it's basically like gasoline. The harder you are on the, on the throttle and, and you use lights and everything else, you're going to burn up your battery power. But, so that gives you about six to eight hours of, of time underwater with the batteries. But because it is actually a registered submarine, so through uh, Lloyd's registry, um, it has 80 hours of life support. So if something went wrong, you can sit on the bottom for 80 hours to, to, for us to figure out how to come and get you. I was just gonna ask that. What happens if I get trapped in this? <laughs> how much air do I have? <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of air. There's, you know, there's lots of life support and it's actually a rebreather system. So it's recycled. So if everything else happens, we can actually have the sub separate from all the batteries and everything else. So all this here is actually flotation, so it would, you would pop to the surface. So what would something like this be used for in, in everyday use? Everyday use, we do everything from pipeline inspections. This one's actually set up to do, to test the, the thickness of the wall of a pipeline. So we'd go along and we'd test that. We'd do everything to, um, we do a lot of science research. We did, we've worked with NASA numerous times up in Pavilion Lake um, with the project up there. We've worked, uh, done with their NEMA pro NEMO project, which is NASA's Extreme Environments Mission Operations. Okay, so I understand you guys also have another, uh, other cool technology yeah. as well. So maybe let's get me out of this thing as gracefully sure. as possible and we can go take a look at some of those. Well, I'm with John from Nutco Research. Thanks, John, for joining us. Now, I just sat in a one-person submarine. So can you tell me some of the features of this guy here and how this two-person sub is a little bit different? <laughs> sure. Well, uh, obviously, it's a two-person sub, so uh, you get to carry two people. And this is really nice if you're uh, doing scientific work because you can have a mission specialist in one of the pods and have a dedicated pilot for the other. You steer this sub with your feet, which like keeps your hands free, and so you can use things like this arm to uh, pick up things or... Uh, film things, but it's nicer to have two people to be able to do that. Awesome. So speaking of two-person submarines, there is something behind you that looks like an airplane. <laughs> right. And I am not sure what this is. So you need to tell us, what is this? This is Orca Sub? <laughs> this is Orca Sub. This is the next generation. It uses the same components as the, the single and the, the dual deep worker, the same pressure pods, but it's in this airplane configuration. And what this allows uh, for the pilots to do is to fly very, very quickly have long range. Most subs, two knots, three knots, that's about maximum. Top speed for this underwater, 10 knots. So you can cover a lot of ground. You can be very spontaneous. You can follow a whale. You can cruise a reef, a debris trail, pick up doubloons. Being able to, to be in that environment and, and be on an equal level is unprecedented. Because when you're a scuba diver, you're sort of ungainly and moving around and things sort of have to come to you. If, uh, but you can actually decide what you want to do and very easily get there. Now, is this run with foot pedals as well, or is this different? No, this is uses a, a joystick, so it's really, really fun to fly. It's, uh, again, if you can play a video game badly, <laughs> uh, you can fly this very easily. It's really designed to open up the world uh, to people uh, that have never been or spent time underwater. Maybe they aren't scuba divers, or they're not, uh, that you don't have to be trained as a pilot or, or anything in order to uh, be able to visit uh, the underwater world and really be there on an equal level with the fish. So tell me, what does one of these bad boys cost? <laughs> well, fully equipped, thousand foot capable Orca sub starts at about $1.8 million. So uh, it's a significant investment, but it's an amazing toy. It's uh, if you want something on the back of your yacht to really move you, this is a thing to have. Absolutely. So where can people get some more information? At www.subaviators.com. Thank you so much for your time. I think uh, the only next thing for me to do is get in one of these. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. So we're going to Hawaii, right? Hawaii next. <laughs>